Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shad Longster Born, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news room update. Now I know what you're thinking, why have you got a light on and you got a torch? Well it's dark outside, so the updates have come very very late today. Uh, I have pre-recorded two next five year videos for Tuesday and Wednesday, tomorrow and Wednesday from Six Flags America and Six Flags Great Adventure. Now they may come out tomorrow and Wednesday, but depending if there's more theme park news from updates, because we've had updates from Motion Gate Dubai this past couple of hours, we also have an update from Park du Bacasse on their brand new coaster for next year. And we've got word it's going to be a clone of Orkanen, which is also a clone of Dragonfly in the Wildwood Grove of Dollywood. So uh, I may do a separate update on that. I'm going to do a separate update on Motion Gate Dubai tonight. So stay tuned for another video coming very, very soon. By the time you're watching this, it'll be an editing in the final process. So uh, stay tuned tonight. Um, but today, for this particular update, this first one, we're going to be looking at Tornado. Tornado Springs um, post from Lawrence Mansey from Poulton's Park, posting about Tornado Springs, but the main part of today is speaking about 2022, because they've shared some, ex just a, a sentence, not too much, but a sentence, and it's going to be sharing about uh, what's going on, basically. So, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the location bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Don't forget, got another update coming today from Motion Gate Dubai, so stay tuned for that. We've got two new coasters recycled from Six Flags Dubai opening up in that park. And for now, let's talk about the Twitter post that shares stuff about 2021 and 2022 and beyond. So officially from Lawrence Mansi on Twitter, it states as follows. A year ago, we were celebrating the completion of Storm Chaser. Now we're preparing for a very different Halloween half term. Despite everything, we're looking forward to 2021 and the opening of Tornado Springs and sharing our plans for 2022 and beyond. So not much was given really in terms of the plans itself. However, it definitely showed um, potentially something very exciting could be in the works. So um, I maybe could be 2023. I'm going to discuss more about that after I share my predictions. But here are my three predictions as to what I think is coming to Poulton's Park in 2022. So let's start off with the small in uh, the, the small investment route. So this is uh, basically the prediction where I think there's not going to be much investment in 2022, but it could be afterwards. So the small investment route for 2022 would be something small like uh, a, a family ride, like an extra family ride. So I would look uh, for many different areas in the park, maybe the Dragon Roundabout area, or maybe opposite it. You could put something in that nice space there, maybe. Um, or, you know, something like that. Uh, you, I mean, you can already see a screenshot on your screen uh, of the Dragon Roundabout uh, attraction, so maybe one route is going to be uh, tearing that out and replacing it with a brand new family attraction. I'd like a Zampella Endeavour in this park. I think that would be a great fit for the park. I think that that's a good family thrill ride, and I think it's something to keep the, the, the younger ones entertained, so I think it's a ride that they can go on. It's not too thrilling, it's not too scary, so I think that would be a, a decent attraction for them. The medium investment route would be a brand new dark ride. Now, when we say dark ride, we're looking here at, you know, uh, it could be shooting dark ride, it could be an interactive dark ride, it could be one of those alter-face dark ride systems, it could be a cable design works, it could literally be the ABC dark drop tower ride system from ABC Rides, uh, which is the same as Nemesis of Terror, Alton Towers that last operated in, you know, 2015-2016. So, a dark ride could be anything. Now, there's a couple of sites you could put a dark ride, but you'd have to test some stuff out. And I'm not looking at current buildings, I'm looking at... Um, so a couple of sites that could be built from scratch, buildings built from scratch. So one site, I mean, we go back to the Dragon Roundabout, that would be torn out in my opinion. So would the Bouncer indoor trampoline attraction. That would, have, to be fair, the the sort of uh, Bouncer building for the indoor trampolines, uh, mini trampolines, they would actually be like an entrance walkway with the outdoor queue line into the dark ride building. And I think you could even build the building as far back as taking out that path which splits off uh, the area behind Bouncer on the Dragon Roundabout, and you'd even rip out the Digger Ride and the Seal Falls. So I would rip out both kids' rides behind it with the path, rip out the path, and I'd rip out the Dragon Roundabout, and I'd put the Bouncer indoor trampoline attraction as your sort of entrance area for this. So the building, as you can see already on your screen, would be a massive, massive site. The second site, again on your screen already, 
uh, would be the, to, to rip out the Viking boats. I'd use the building next to it. I'd probably relocate the pirate ship. I mean, they could maybe you could even put the pirate ship, and you could rethem the pirate ship, the Contiki, and maybe even the teacups if you wanted to move that as well into Critter Creek. And I would probably retheme the uh, um, and take take out the pirate ship and the teacups, put that into Critter Creek, and I'd rip out the Viking boats or relocate that if you wanted to. And I'd use that site as well, because I think that's a decent site for a dart ride too. So, there's a couple of different areas where they could put a dart ride, but it should be interesting to see if they were going to do that. And like I said, the possibilities of a type of dart ride system could be potentially endless. I mean, they've already got a 4D cinema. Could they go with a dynamic motion cinema? Kind of like what Futuroscope is going to add, I think, 2021 when I spoke about the expansion plans not too long ago. So, maybe they go with one of them. Maybe the Matt Rocking Boat. Of course, Mission Bermuda's planned for 2024, I think it is, for the Futuroscope. So, maybe one of those Matt Rocking Boats in a building would be nice. Uh, again, looking at things like Cable Design Works, Nemesis Subterra's drop ride system from ABC Rise. Maybe look at that. Um, there's a few different dark ride systems. Sally Corporation would be one of the big ones, of course, but uh, I think whatever Polton's parts do with a dark ride system, I think they'd do incredibly well with it. The high investment potential for 2022 is, of course, a brand new area, and with it, a brand new roller coaster. Now, of course, you're probably looking at me thinking, what area would you put in? Well, I would still rip out the Digger Ride, the Dragon Roundabout, and the Seal Falls. And I would probably retheme Edge, Cobra, Magma. I would use the, I would rip out the go karts, and I would use the site where one of the dark ride predictions was, and I would put a brand new coaster in that particular site um, as like a, an entrance archway coaster. Now, what type of coaster? I'm not too sure. I think if you were going to go for something compact and something you can just fit. Uh, in one of the sites without having to rip out the go-karts. Maybe you put one of the free spins in there if you want to go for a thrill coaster because of course uh, the 4D free spin you can see Adventureland Iowa adding one of these in 2021 so who's to say Polton's Park can't add one of these. It's a wing style seating arrangement, it's something different for the park and uh, it, would, it would be pretty good. Um, if you're going to do something outstretched to rip out the go-karts as well, you're looking at something compact and thrilling, so something like a Raptor Coaster, a custom model, you know, put the Six Flags Parks to work. Um, or you go for something else uh, compact and thrilling. Um, I like the look of the Intamin LSM Vertical Launch Coaster concept, but again, like the free spin, that's a compact f footprint, so you probably have to not even replace the go-karts. You could even put that... Uh, behind where the bouncer is and use the bouncer building as the entrance archway for the ghoster uh, and include that along with the area and you could maybe even replace the digger ride and the seal falls to extend the area of the coaster out so uh, and do a custom layout of that uh, particular concept from Intamin so uh, I mean the, the possibilities are endless and uh, with that of course you'd have to retheme Magma, Edge and Cobra and if the go-karts are still there you'd retheme that um, or you'd replace it with a particular different attraction, maybe do like a nice flat rides package or a family flat rides package in that particular area where the go-karts is now. So I think that the possibilities with that particular uh, investment, again, I think they're very, very endless. And I think that uh, whichever one you particularly go for... Um, I think you wouldn't rule it out really so um, I think that with all these predictions the small investment of like a family ride or just some refurbishments here and there uh, and then the big investments would come after 2022 or if you were going to invest in a brand new attraction uh, the minimum investment being a dart ride or the medium investment sorry being a dart ride uh, with those possibilities a couple of different sites and of course I think if they were going to do the high investment and go for a new area with a new coaster and some new attractions it would be that area where Cobra is, where Magma is, Edge is, and I would retheme that whole section because then that's the next big area to make it part of a themed park rather than just a selection of rising attractions, which is what it used to be uh, before 2011 uh, when they started to introduce the areas to the park. So I think that either one of these investments would be good for Polton's Park. So there we go. That is looking at my predictions for 2022 and beyond. Well, potentially beyond, but mainly 2022 at Polton's Park. So they could go for either one of those investment strategies. Small, medium, high. My prediction is probably medium. I think they're going to go for the dark ride. I think it could be a dark ride in 2022, especially if COVID's over by um, October 2021. I think that a dark ride is a perfect way to bring back the crowds uh, into indoor spaces. And I think that 
Um, you know, it's it's like different things in life, isn't it? Once co once COVID's gone, the relief is going to be endless. You know, having fans back in stadiums, in sports, um, you know, doing all these different things, bringing the funding in for the arts. That's what we need: funding for the performance arts, please, government. And um, you know, and theme parks is one of them, especially with the dark rides. Look at dark rides like Darren Brown's Ghost Train at Thorpe Park. That was still closed. That was transformed into like a decorated outdoor space for Oktoberfest. Uh, for the October Festival that just went. Um, and other dark rides have been closed as well. So I think that, you know, having the dark rides back open when COVID's over is going to be a relief. And I think that this is going to be a welcome way to bring back the crowds into indoor dark ride attractions. And I think 2022 is possibly the perfect year. Um, so I would predict at this early stage, potentially a dark ride. And looking at the two sites, I mean, it's probably more likely they'll use the bouncer buildings as the entranceway for the dark ride. They'd rip out the Dragon Roundabout so they can fit the exit paths. And they'll probably you you use the the area behind it, where of course the field is usually, and they'd turn that into a into a massive dark ride construction site, and they'd rip out the digger ride and the seal falls. I think both those kids' rides do not have a future at Poulton's Park. They're good kids' attractions, don't get me wrong, and it was perfect for the history of the park, but I think that those two attractions with the, the family rides they're investing in now. I don't think those two attractions have a future at the park. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do go with. Um, it will be exciting to see what gets revealed in the future about 2022. Of course, I think we're expect. I think if they were going to say something about 2022, it would be in the 2021 season. Uh, but it's, a, it's very weird they're talking about 22, 2022 plans and beyond in 2020. That makes me very excited because they've got some big plans on beyond 2021. So... I would stay tuned, leave your predictions in the comments down below, that might actually, you can leave your comments down below and I'll include them with the que with the comments that you put in for poll 3. I'm thinking about that being poll 3, what do you think Polton's poll will add for the 2022 season? I think that's going to be my third poll uh, after reacting to the Alton Towers uh, secret up in 9-1, which has already had a lot of responses by the way, so thank you very much for that. Uh, but that's probably going to be poll uh, after poll 2, which gets reacted to on Saturday as usual. Um, but, you know, very exciting. Very exciting indeed. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this update on Polton's Park. Stay tuned because later tonight we've got an update from Motion Gate Dubai on two brand new roller coasters. So I cannot wait to share my excitement with you because it's two films I've already seen and I cannot wait to see what it looks like in person. So thank you very much for watching this particular news update. Stay tuned for Motion Gate Dubai update later tonight. And for now, my name is Coast Shell. Keep learning the coast alive. And for now, and I'll see you guys in the next update soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.